men's singles final. Between Yang Yang, who served then, and got his serve hit straight as a body from China on the near side. And Han Yan in the picture there, also from China. This is the third final of the evening in the fourth Alba World Cup Badminton Championships. Tournaments have been played this year in Jakarta in the famous Sinayan Stadium in the centre of Jakarta. Interesting contest here between one of the very young Chinese players, Yang Yang, just up and coming. And Han Yan, who's one of the more established Chinese players, regular member of the Thomas Cup team over the last two Thomas Cups. Han Yan is at the end of his career, or nearing the end of his career, although obviously he's still in very fine shape, in very fine form. As he must be, we've got through to the final here. And Yang Yang is the start of his career, but already been a very fine career, even though he's only been on the circuit for just over a year. He's had some very fine victories. Not least those in this tournament. Get through to this stage, he had to, in his group, he had to defeat Steve Butler from England, Ong Beng Tiong from Malaysia. He beat both those players in two sets. And then he had to overcome Lewis Congo. rally there. Luis Pongo of course is a local favourite and hero, winner of the Indonesian Open and uh, the local crowd here were hoping that he was, could repeat that performance in this tournament but Yang Yang had other ideas and was able to beat Pongo in three sets. Semi-final, Yang Yang met Tiscomo Arby, another very popular player with the crowd here in Jakarta, and he managed to put him out of the tournament very, very comfortably. I think most players expected a hard clash in that match, but in fact Yang Yang won 8-8, eight and eight, and in fact it was easier than the score suggests. all hoping that King could defeat this small Chinese man. But in a very, very exciting and grueling contest, Han Yang came through 17, 14, 15, 13. There's Yang Yang. Han Yang, in fact, uh, has been responsible for much of Yang Yang's development, which is a bit ironic as they have clashed here in the final today. Yang Yang 
Yang's able to defeat Han Yan. And at the moment, Han Yang has got a 7-2 lead. Han Yan will only have himself to blame for having taught the youngster so much. Both these players have very fast footwork and very correct footwork, technically correct, and this enables them to cover the course very easily and very swiftly. But it's 8-6 at the moment, Yang Yang, Yang Yang serving. That's a good... Seeing some good badminton here. And you can hear the knowledgeable Jakarta crowd appreciating every moment of it. Not many in here tonight, only three or four thousand people. Contrast to the last few nights where it's been a capacity crowd, especially last night, well over 10,000 people. But of course, the local supporters were hoping that an Indonesian would have made it to the men's singles final and without an Indonesian there they many of them have decided to stay away they really are missing a good match so the 6-9 now Han Yan serve oh and that's a lovely slow drop from really does play that very very tight to the net that drop shot most players these days prefer to hit with a fast action and shuttle comes deeper into court but comes down sharper. Han Yan still uses a traditional slow drop shot to great effect. Now he's beginning to get some errors from the youngster. 8-9. Clawing his way back. You see already by Han Yan's shirt how much effort the players are putting into this match. It's not stifling here in the stadium this evening. It's been hotter on other evenings when uh, we've had full crowds. But you can see Han Yan's shirt sticking to him. And there's the reason for the hold-up at the moment. Yang Yang's shoelace has come adrift. Or perhaps he just wanted a moment to think about how he threw away a 7-2 lead to 9 all. play at the net there by Yang Yang. Quick the pace that came over and that gives him a service back at 9 all. Can he take the pace up again now? Produce some exciting winners. There's King in the picture there. Beated by Han Yang last night. I'm sure he'd like to be out there at the moment playing Yang Yang. Too wily, the old master Han Yan, waiting for the shorter shot, pushing his opponent round, reading all his great winning cuts, and then putting in a killing shot at the end of the rally. But that wasn't so clever. It's cleared out on the third shot of the of the rally. It's still nine all. Oh, bad error. It seems to be getting a little anxious been stuck around eight and nine for a while Yang Yang there's Noah Perry just won the mixed doubles title in the last match yes making a few errors now Yang Yang and that puts Han Yang into the lead at ten nine Hasn't lost a set in this tournament yet, Han Yan. Come close to it on a couple of occasions. Oh, bad error. Simply
Temple Kill pushed out the back. Both these players were in the Chinese Thomas Cup team that narrowly was defeated by Indonesia back in May in Kuala Lumpur. 3-2 Indonesia won there to regain the Thomas Cup off China. Yang Yang played at third singles end and he was victorious against Ichik Sugiato, current world champion. Han Yan, however, was defeated by Hastama Arbi in cup match in the final. Three long sets that was. And that victory by Hastama Arbi set up Indonesia's victory in the Thomas Cup. There's Han Yan, change of style and tactics. Rushing behind the shuttle and creating a winning smash. 11-10. Very close match here. Yeah, and he's made two errors now on that backhand. Takes a bit too late for that to be an effective shot. the crowd there seemed to uh, convince Yang Yang that it was out. Oh, that's good. Must admit that caught me on several occasions, that shot when I played him earlier in the week. That really is a very deceptive shot. Han Yang hasn't got the great power of players like King or Nierhoff but he uses his smash to great effect because of the deception when he hits it. Yeah. And then read that next shot, diving towards the tape, but it was too tight. Too tight for Yang Yang, who pulls back to 10 12. So gets the service back at 10 12. <laughs> really, it's the premier event of the night, or most bands of events are men's singles, and it's brought the crowd alive. Beating players all week. Nobody's really found an answer to that shot from Yang Yang. Very, very deceptive when he hits it and it goes down very sharply, very steeply. Must have won dozens of points during this tournament with that shot. It's up to it so early. So it's 12 all. Han Yang took that rally. 12 all. Stuck on 12 for a while, Han Yang. Can't seem to get off it. I have another go now though. Oh, it's in. Just dropped in. 13 12. That was the point he was looking for. Always, players always feel a little more comfortable when they can reach 13. Of course, then if they're caught, they have the option of second. Saw the great winning shot from Yang Yang again. There, even tighter, cut the tapes that went over, but in fact that hindered the shot because it bounced up off the tape and gave Han Yang a little longer to see the shuttle and he was able to return it. 14 12, then match point. Oh, very tight next shot, cut the tape, can Han Yang kill it? Yes. Straight on the floor. First game point to take the set, 15 12. 